Talk whack to me. Talk whack to me. Yeah. Talk whack to me. Talk whack to me. What's up, Wackians? It's your boy, the Honorable OCT Octavius Hey, and I'm here to talk whack today. Before we continue on with the video, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And if you are clicking on this video, you know what we're talking about. So let's talk whack to him. So, of course, you know, got to talk about Tiffany Haddish, the lawsuit against Tiffany Haddish and Ari Spears has been dropped. Uh, the accuser has decided to drop it. I don't know if there was some money paid behind the scenes or something like that. Maybe Tiffany Haddish or Ari Spears team found something that, that the other people didn't want out there. For whatever reason, it stopped us over. So those accusations, uh, that's been killed. What may have also been killed is Tiffany Haddish's career. Tiffany Haddish came out saying that all of her gigs have been canceled and it's kind of this whole thing has kind of ruined her. And it's kind of sad. It's, it's very sad because now you don't even have a chance to prove your innocence in court or anything like that. You just have to have this stigma, this stain on your career. Now, I think that Tiffany Haddish is talented enough that she could come back from this. I don't think it went on long enough. And I think it's just about taste, or, or, you know, if something was done tastefully versus if there was actually malicious intent that she may be able to come back from this. I don't know. There were a lot of people throwing shots at her as far as Aerie Spears. You know, his career kind of been where it is. I don't think that it's really going to hurt or help him. I think he's at a point right now where he's got his loyal fan base and that's who he's going who's going to rock with him. Who knows what may happen? You, maybe maybe won't get some of them opportunities that he's been getting, but I think he's still going to make money. Tiffany Haddish, though, she's a bigger star on a bigger level. So this may really affect her. Now, I, I seen Boosie come out saying that, you know, he may not be able to pay her what other people have been able to pay, but he, he'll he want to work with her. They can make a movie together. You know, he's saying that she's a star. She can fund some stuff on her own, which she can. Another thing that can come from this is because charges were dropped and the case has been dismissed and a lot of people including myself think that Tiffany Haddish was unfairly judged I think that there may be a groundswell of support from her fans or people who may not even liked her before but now they're like well I'm standing up for Tiffany Haddish because y'all tripping this is going this is taking things too far they might support her in protest which is hey whatever it is so I don't know uh, Tiffany Haddish got some thinking to do She's got to see where she's going to go for with her career. You know, she's, she's a personality. She's funny. She can always go on tour. Uh, but I know she wants the big bucks. She wants the money, the hosting gig. She wants that, you know, A-list tier celebrity spotlight that she's been getting. So I don't know if that's in the cards for the time being. She may just have to take a backseat for a minute and just focus on, you know, doing comedy shows, maybe some independent films, uh, self-financed. Just to keep her name out there, maybe and maybe in a few years, see her doing that, she'll have a career. Or maybe nothing will happen. Maybe this, maybe the gigs were canceled because of the negative stuff going on. But since that's been dropped, hey, maybe she'll be put in another big movie or be able to host another big gig or do something big. Who knows? Get another huge, uh, a big TV role, something like that. You never know with these things. It's just I guess you guys got to read the temperature. It's all about who you know. Um, how much attention people are really giving to it. Now, when the story first came out, there was a lot of attention drawn to it. So a lot of people know about this, but I don't know. I don't know. First of all, I don't know how many people will really know that, okay, the case has been dropped. It's not, that's not getting, it, I think, the same amount of attention as at least the initial charges being filed did. But you also don't know how many people really care. You know, like how many people, how, how many people just social media care versus how many people are really standing by like, no, I have to boycott her. I can never watch Tiffany Haddish again. Yada, 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 yada. I don't know. Like I said, Ari Spears, keep doing your podcast. Keep going on tour. Keep going on Vlad TV. You know, do your thing. I don't think this, like I said, it's, I just don't think it's going to really affect him as much. Uh, people have been having weird opinions of him anyway. You know, be just... He's in a position where he can just talk his talk. You know, he's not really losing out on too much, I don't think. But who knows? Uh, Aries said he thought his career was it. He said he thought this was it. He's done. He's ruined. I think it's probably more of a financial, from a financial position, I think he may have been meaning of uh, having to pay for all this, this, this lawsuit. But since that's being dropped, 
Who knows? Maybe maybe Mans is good. So we'll see. Like I said, I I think that it was blown out of proportion. I think the shock value of it was like, why would y'all do this in that way? Uh, makes make a, a comedy out of like you know perverts. I get they were saying watch who you leave your kids with. Like I said, I I, I just thought it was done in kind of like an awkward way. And I don't know if the mom knew or or if you know if because Tiffany Haddish was friends with the kid's mother. I don't know if the mom knew what was going on or not. I thought it was weird, but I didn't think that it was a malicious intent. They were trying to scar these children's lives or, you know, actually do any type of pedophile things against them. I just think it was like a weird thing. And, and Aerie Spears made weird videos. And Tiffany Haddish at the time was up and coming, young, just trying to get on it. And Aerie Spears was a bigger name than her at the time. So she just did something for work. Uh, so, yeah, that's another thing that come from this. Remember, anything you decide to do when you starting out can come back to haunt you when you get big. And that's what happened to Tiffany Haddish. Uh, sucks that she's kind of suffering from, the, from this, even though everything's been dropped. The ramifications are still hurting her career. Hopefully, she can bounce back from this. And hopefully, hopefully, every Spears, he's good. And he stays able to do, you know, what he's doing and, and even more. Because I don't think that they're bad per people. I just think it was a bad skit. Yeah. Talk whack to me. Talk whack to me. Yeah. Talk whack to me. Talk whack to me.